Hi, I'm Glenna Smore, and I'm going to show you the various ways that you can use my double-ended blender. It's the Glenis Shadow Dancer, and it's made by Dynasty, and it's one of my students' favorite brushes. Uh, actually, I designed it to just get into little tight places and blend values together, but it works so well, I pretty much paint with it all the time. Now, if you get this brush, and it is available on my website, when you get it, it comes with two plastic caps, one on each end. And people are a little bit concerned about this brush because, you know, when you put it in the brush holder, they're afraid it's going to damage the tips. It doesn't. It doesn't. They're fine. And um, I actually selected the hair at the factory, so, you know, it's, it's nice. So when you get it, don't just yank this off. Kind of gently roll the, see how I'm rolling the brush and pulling it off, then throw that away. Now we'll do the same thing on the other end. See, just get rid of it. You don't, you don't want to put it back on there because it damages the hair. But you can see there's a visible difference. So this, this actually gets a nice little point on it. This is a little larger for uh, larger areas. Now, because I, I don't have an image here to show you, I'm just going to load the brush. And again, you just dip it in the water. Don't slosh it. Um, I, I know a lot of you like to get in there and you clink your brush like that. Don't do that. <laughs> just gently dip the tip. Blot it. I don't know if you can see the water there. All right. And I'm, I'm going to... Um, we're going to fake this, okay? So I'm going to take a little bit of burnt sienna. Just pull it out like that. Don't overload the brush. You see, you work right out of that little pile that you pull away from the paint and put your brush down. See, and, and just, I actually scrub in like this and, you know, uh, we'll do a tiger stripe. How's that? And then wipe, wipe your brush off and we'll get some raw umber since I don't have black on the palette. And we'll come right in next to that and blend those two colors together. See, we want it darker down here. Wipe your brush off. And then you notice I didn't go to the water. But see how that blends those together? And a lot of people really complain about blending acrylic, so this just works so well. Um, let's take some medium white. See, I just put a little dab on the brush. And we're going to come right along the dark there. Wipe your brush off on your towel. See how I'm rubbing it? No water. And pressure is really important. So you don't want to, you know, really push hard. Just very lightly. See, just blend like that. So if you're doing an animal that has little fine blending areas around the eyes or the ears or something, that just works so good. And then, of course, the smaller end, um, you can come in and do some, you know, little fine stuff. Again, just... But I, I find that I base in most of my my picture with this and you know in the areas that it's appropriate like that and I always when I'm doing my animals um, there are no hard edges on animals so you have to blend uh, your colors you don't want to have you know sharp edges and I think you'll find that you'll really love these Hi, I'm Glenna Smore, and I'm going to show you how to use my double-ended blender as well as my soft tip um, blending brush. The double-ended brush, uh, and this is one of my paintings, um, it's called Dark Beauty, and I actually base in pretty much all of this with the larger end of the, the double-ended blender, and then I come back in and and do the lights. So because this painting is, you know, almost done, I'm just going to show you a couple little things here on how to blend around the eye and in here with 
um, the tip, the small end there. So you don't want to overload the tip of the brush. You see I have very little paint. That's white. And if you come in here like this, and where you want it to be the brightest is where you start with the paint. Wipe it off, and I'm doing this with a totally dry brush. Add a little bit of highlight here and here. But with these um, brushes, you can soften because there aren't hard edges on animals. So here, where the dark touches the light, this is created by uh, a muscle. So there is a bit of a, a hard edge, not much. So you just soften it out like that. Um, and then you can do your half tones as well. See, and I just love these. I paint with them and uh, I get carried away. Now, up here on the top of his head, I'm going to take some more white and I'm going to add the final highlight like that. See how nice that goes on? And then you can blend it down. And I'm going to take just a little bit of black. This is a Frisian horse, by the way, and they have fast, thick manes and tails. And then just soften it. Take just a little bit more highlight. Now what I use that other, uh, this one for, I'll show you in just a minute. And again, you do not wet this brush. Get some more white on here. Like that. Then you would take this one and just gently push down. Like on this area here, I laid the paint in with the light gray and the black. And while the paint was still damp, I just pushed the brush like this and it softens everything out. And you you don't really paint with it, it's just a, a softening tool. And again, these are available on my website. You can get the, this one in a single package or you can get the two in a, in a set. 